Eastern and um, yeah I've been trying to start this intro umpteen times just I think I've got the Lord Allen syndrome where I start giggling because um, yeah like I said umpteen times so oh, you don't normally see me on the videos you normally see my hands because I let my hands do the talking but uh, I thought I'd show myself right so let's get into it get uh, Gets is my fourth venture out uh, to Gets, as it were, and um, this time round, I think I met more YouTubers than, than ever. So let's talk about Gets. Well, Gets started for me Friday afternoon when I arrived at the Double Tree Hotel. Uh, I was just about to go into the hotel. And I saw this chap on the pavement. And I thought, I don't know a minute, I know him, and it was Alan from Buckland Junction. So I went up to Alan and says, Oh, it's us. It's great to finally meet you at last. And he goes, who are you? I says, well, I'm Tony Northeastian. And at the same time, I put my hand out <laughs> to shake his hand. He said, oh, yes, I've always wanted to meet you too. So we, we ended up chatting for about five, ten minutes. And then um, and then we parted ways. And then I went into the, the hotel and I bumped into Charlie Chadwick in the foyer as he was checking in. So we had a few minutes talking with uh, Charlie Chadwick um, so yeah and then later on that evening we went into the bar and we saw Lord Al who is always big in personality and he always has a big presence <laughs> and I went up and shook his hand with a good lady Lady Barbara of course Lord Alan Lady Barbara and um, yeah and I sat down and uh, sat down next to it. Clive and Ewelling Junction. He gave me a special, specialised tool which I'll show you uh, in a minute. So we, we got talking, um, Alan from Buckland Junction was there, Big Mike was there, um, Anthony Dodge and his wife was there, Joyce, and oh, Paul and Paris came in uh, to the bar and sat down beside us and uh, we exchanged photographs and what have you and then we had the Friday Night Live from Anthony Dodge pints and all <laughs> yes it was it was it was good it was a good good evening I enjoyed that evening very merry very merry yep and uh, then we move on to Saturday Saturday um, went into the VIP suite and there was Timber Surf and Dino didn't get a chance to, to to talk to them much, but we did talk later on at the um, meet at two thirty. And along came Stephen, Stephen from the Tame Valley Railway, along with his wife Janice. And uh, I've known Stephen for a couple of years now, and that's the guy I built that little shed for, the shed in the shed. So it was good meeting you again, Stephen and Janice. And then Gary from Cheeky Tech turned up. <laughs> we always get on. We get on like a house on fire. Gary, he's a bad influence on me. Isn't that right, Gary? I know you're watching. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and then we went into the show. Oh, I had to get from get um, an LED, a special LED for the ice cream cone. Um, and I managed to get some of those. Uh, nano bulbs, they call them. I'll show you those in a minute. Hopefully I can get that ice cream on cone on top of the kiosk flashing without doing too much damage. But uh, that's another video for another time. But I can show you the bulbs anyway that I got. Um, another thing I was after was a brake fan. Oh, I've got so many trains dotted around the layout. I needed another brake fan. Because um, it's it can be a shunting nightmare to release a brake van from one train and couple it up to another train. But if I've got a, a brake van on all the freight trains, I won't have to do so much of the coupling and uncoupling. Um, so I managed to get one of those. I'll show you that also in a minute. In a minute. All right. Um, yes. During the show, I bumped into a guy you don't often see that much on YouTube, and that's Stephen from Time Dog Five. Be. and we got chatting away and he took me behind the scenes and the layout that he was operating on 
and he was telling me about all the 3D bits and bobs that he made for this layout because he's, he's heavily into 3D printing at the moment. Now that's something I want to look into uh, in 2025 when I, if I get time, if I can get away from the tiny dot build, I want to get that out of the way first. So that's something I want to get into 2025, it's 3D printing. Right, so after all that um, chatting, I think I'll show you what I got from Getz. One of the items that I come back with from Getz, and uh, I got my um, brake van, an extra one. Uh, this is a, a Midlands Grey um, brake van. I don't have that many Midlands Grey. I've got loads of northeastern ones, but not a Midlands Grey. So that's a, a great addition to the layout. But I could not leave these behind. It's not for £10 each. Uh, Conflap um, um, wagons with the containers on. £10 each. This one is a plank wagon with a container in. So yeah, I could not leave them behind. And that was from the Clark's Railworks um, stand that was it gets. And they were selling wagons off um, for £5 each as well. So there were bargains to be had at Getz. While I was walking around the exhibition I bumped into Alan from Buckland Junction and he had bought some of these Belisha beacons. So I asked him where he got them from and uh, well I bought a set as well. You just, just can't uh, sniff at that price. I mean look $7.99 so I bought a set as well. They'll, they'll come handy somewhere on the layout. And I managed to get my LEDs, uh, not yellow ones but orange but I'm hoping once it's inside the ice cream um, cone it might tone the orange down inside that um, uh, twin pack but uh, we we'll, shall see. Anyway, got some more paintbrushes. You cannot have enough uh, paintbrushes. I seem to go through quite a lot uh, of paintbrushes. So that's what I bought from the exhibition. And this is that specialist tool that Clive gave me um, from Newland Junction, which I very much appreciate, Clive. Thank you very much. Um, and there's the part number. Okay, there's a part number there. So I'm not sure where he got it from, but you know some of my bills, I normally coil copper wire around a drill bit. So I can do the same here. And I can use it to do that and all sorts of uh, little things. So these will come in very, very handy for doing that kind of um, job. So yeah, thank you Clive. I'll certainly make good use of these. Another gift from Steve, uh, Time Dog 5B. Um, like I said, he's doing a lot of um, resin builds at the moment. Or he's doing a lot of resin um, 3D printing experimentation, if you like. And um, I've always wanted to build a, a longer um, LNER um, plate layers hut. And he's beat me to it in this 3D print. And... Um, this is just a proof proof one he says I can, I can have it so yeah thank you very much Steve um, this I know exactly where this is gonna go this is gonna go over at New Hassle and um, yeah thank you very much Steve very much appreciated before we move on I just want to show you the comparison between the kit that you can get the laser print kit and the plate layers hut that um, Stephen gave us. You can see it's same width but longer. So you could turn that into a, a canteen if you wanted, like a plate layers hut canteen in in a in an MPD or something like that. So yeah. Thanks again, Steve. From one Steve to another, I have to thank you very much, Steve, and 
from a heritage railway. That's Time Valley or Time Valley Railway. Thank you very much for these figures. Now, these figures I'm going to use over at um, Little Haven because uh, they're going to need staff when I come to build that station. So thank you very much. Well, so there we are. It was an, another great experience. Um, it gets this year. I think everybody who went had enjoyed themselves. I certainly did. And um, it was great meeting up with everybody. Uh, I mean, it only comes around once a year. And uh, I thoroughly enjoyed it. So before we go, I've got a couple of shout outs. One for Graeme over at Leamington Station. It was a pleasure to meet you, Graeme. Uh, it was, it was a good chat and uh, we enjoyed a pint together, which is, which is good. And uh, GWR Maverick, yes, it was great to finally meet you at long last. So, yeah, uh, it was just a fabulous weekend. And uh, on that note, I think that is all from me. Until next time, stay safe and uh, look after yourselves and enjoy your hobby. Bye for now. Bye.